here I have up close, you can see the items. I literally just got some cutters and took them out. This is going to be your cast iron flue adapter, which would be used for outside air. Here you're going to have a two-piece flue collar that goes with the stove. Okay, so this part is going to bolt down to the stove. Here you can see it sits directly on top. Then, if you're running a, a double wall chimney, your double wall adapter would go on top. If you're running a single wall chimney, then your single wall pipe will fit directly inside here. Keep in mind, if you are using the warming oven, only a single wall chimney will fit through it, okay? No double wall chimney there. This is going to be the cast iron grate that goes inside your firebox. Here we are installing the gaskets on these flue collars for the Lenordica. One is going to fit directly into this channel here. Um, I recommend using one with the foils to keep this nice and tight so it doesn't fray. This is then going to flip up there. Now it doesn't actually make a direct contact. You'll notice that there's a gap here. A lot of people think that there's something wrong with that. The gasket is going to make it airtight across the cooktop. We put these bolts into place. I'm sorry, the screws, and then they give us bolts to secure them. The second gasket is going to be installed into this. This is then going to sit directly on top of that. That's going to make the airtight connection. Then your pipe will fit into that. If you're using a single wall pipe, it'll fit directly into this second adapter. If you're using a double wall chimney, then you will need that stove adapter to match whatever brand of double wall chimney you are installing. So just like that, we have it tightened into place. We have this one in place. Set it here. See, that fits there. People are concerned about the gap at the bottom. There, it's gasketed. It's gasketed here on the stovetop. It's gasketed between the connection. There's no smoke that's going to come out of this blue collar. So then from there, we can go ahead and connect our chimney into it. This is a single wall chimney, so it's a simple crimped end. And that crimped end will fit directly into the stove. Just like that. I really hope that you guys found these this video on the Millie helpful. I really do try and show you guys every single aspect of the stove up close with the stove torn apart, burning the stove, temperatures, cooking, baking, what comes with it, um, unpacking it. If you guys have any other ideas or things that you want to see that I am not covering in my videos, please drop them in the comments. I do read your comments and I am always open for improvement and suggestions on how I can do better for you guys. Don't forget, if you like my videos, give them that thumbs up. That helps me out. It makes me excited to make more videos for you guys. Of course, click that subscribe button in the corner of the channel here. When you click that nice little bell, it notifies you of all of my latest videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless. Have a wonderful day.